Nobody likes an I told you so, but in a sense, I told you so? Well, we'll see the houses of the world promo on the moon. What is going on, everybody? Stud City here, back with another pretty exciting video because in replacement of the Blacktron Cruiser, the Houses of the World promotional item was kicked off January 15th and was supposed to run to January 25th. However, that has come to an abrupt end because recently I noticed on a very early uh, uh, Friday morning uh, from time of recording that the new promotional item is sold out and that's alarming because it is a very expensive promo this retails for 250 dollars so what does all this information mean well it means i was very scared when i saw this and i jumped on over to look at my previous order since i knew i ordered something that was on back order and i was really scared i didn't get my uh, houses of the world promo uh, number one uh, well, fortunately, when I checked, uh, I don't know why I didn't check when I saw the email originally a few days ago, uh, I, I did get the promo. I just don't have it uh, in hand yet because it's coming in the mail. And at the time of recording, I, I don't have it. I want to publish this video uh, before that because it is alarming. And I think there's still an opportunity to get one. Uh, but later on that, later into today's video. After I realized I have my promo nice and secure, I thought, wow, let me check the aftermarket prices because I bet this thing is already skyrocketing and probably not a lot of people know already. Uh, and that's just what I did. So officially as of this time, uh, as a recording and publishing the video, the promos are around the 40 to $60 range. And I think that's a good deal for this promo. This, if this promo legitimately sold out in four days, and if Lego is not going to carry this forward, uh, now mindful of the Lego community, now that no one can get it, they're probably going to have a huge revolt and uh, go knock on Lego's doorstep and say, we wanted this promo so bad, but everyone talked crap about it and didn't want it because it was too high of expensive. But now that it's sold out, everyone in the right mind is going to want this promotional item. Uh, and I'm so glad we made a video days ago uh, and I did order this. I mean, forget about me ordering it. It has nothing to do with this video. I, I definitely thought of it and I said, you know what? I kind of want to collect all four because this is a one of four promo. So there's going to be four more coming out uh, throughout the year. Well, three more. So this is one of four, 25%. Uh, but anyways, this thing is going to be the most valuable one because it's the first one. And if the first one sold out in four days, think of it, think of it. Go back in time, guys. Go back to VIP coins, right? The first one came out, sold out in like 30 days. Second one came out, sold out in like 20 days. The third one came out, it sold out in like three days. And the next one was, you know, in 10 seconds, it was selling out and everyone was listing them on eBay for hundreds of few hundreds, 400, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700. I think I was watching them on eBay selling for $700. Is this the case with the House of the World's promo? It potentially can be. I am no financial genius here uh, and nor is this financial advice, but I do think this promo is reasonably priced between 40 and $60, especially if it sold out in four days. How many people could have ordered Lego within four days at spending $250? I just... I just don't see it being a huge amount of numbers. So this Lego set in the aftermarket at 40 to $60, I think is a good price, uh, especially it being one of four, the very first one of four. And it's already sold out in four days, right? You can't, when, when the fourth one comes out, I don't know, say September of 2023, and you're missing the first one, you can't go back in time and buy the first one. The only place to get it is from where? Is from Bricklink, is from eBay is from Facebook Marketplace, maybe a, a Lego convention like Brick World Chicago, whatever it may be, and you're going to pay a retail price. Well, you have the opportunity to buy it between $40 and $60. I sincerely believe the set is only going to go up in price. And that's why I'm making this video is because uh, you guys are the viewers of my channel. I appreciate you guys. And when there's a good deal, I like to call it out because um, you know what? I'm probably going to scoop up a few up in the aftermarket. And that's a way to fund my hobby. I can buy some sets that I personally want um, just for scooping up some sets that I think are going to go ridiculous in value. Now, it's not financial advice. I am not licensed in any way or form to uh, talk about financial advice. This is just my own opinion, my own opinion, my experience, and more of an entertainment video. Uh, but I would love to hear what you guys think of this in the comments below. Call me a scalper. Please do. It, it does not bother me. Um, you know what? I enjoy this hobby. Uh, I think I add value and uh, I want to fund the sets that I want to build and review them for you guys. So you know what? It's all worth it to me. But I am literally, I'm sitting here in disbelief that this thing sold out in four days. I'm so fortunate I ordered one because I would have been really kicking myself if I didn't. And again, this is not a like, oh, haha, ha, I win, haha. Ha. No, like 
I, I sincerely am making this video because I want to raise the issue. I'm, you guys are the viewers. You guys mean a lot to me. Is this a good deal to you guys? I, I would love to, I want to hear your honest thoughts in the comments below because I, this is a huge opportunity and um, we don't see a lot of this stuff come often. It's been a couple of years since the VIP coins. And I thought that was like one of the last huge, huge opportunities like this where something is limited printing. And you know what they did? They, uh, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook Lego users went and cried to Lego and uh, they got them reprinted. So lost a little bit of value there, but big deal, right? During the hype of it, you could you could sold them for a ton, uh, which it was awesome. Uh, but anyways, I think it's a great opportunity. It's a really, I think it was a really good promotion. I love that it was modularized. And I think when there's more come out and I'm going to stack them up next to each other, I think it's going to be freaking killer. So I don't know why it did get a lot of hate. Um, it did get a lot of hate in the comments. And I, I was in between, you know, I'm like, I love promos. Uh, people kept saying, you're going to spend a thousand dollars to get this all four promos and like you know what you're right it's a stupid expensive um but you know, i don't know why i kind of enjoy it like i enjoy chasing promos <laughs> here's a list of all the sets that i did pick up i know i said i'd do a haul video when these do come in but i i did make an announcement i ordered the bookshop as well to claim uh the new houses of the world one promo uh that coming kind of got me to the 250 dollars threshold in the last video we talked about spending the 200 dollars to justify the bookshop right and then the other $50 was a little bit unjustified just to hit the promo. Uh, but in reality, guys, um, the promos, in a sense, will end up kind of paying for this Lego haul, especially if the value of the house is the one promo escalates quickly. Uh, now, the only other promo that's still available is the Lunar U New Year or the Chinese New Year set, which is the year of the rabbit still a good promotional item for 85 dollars or more so if you do plan on ordering from lego uh and want a little bit of discount you could use the rocketson link in the description if you're a first time user you'll get 30 dollars for signing up uh, i use rocketson all the time for every single purchase we actually talked about in our last video where i saved 10 percent on that 250 dollar order so essentially got 25 dollars cash back which is nice so unfortunately it's only two and a half percent cash back now but every little bit adds up i also thought at the end of this video i'd show some prices on some aftermarket it uh just because i think this is quite wild uh, so the houses of the world promo literally going for 65 dollars on a high end uh, and i think the lowest i've seen is around 46 dollars plus shipping so in a way you're going to end up spending 60 dollars on this promo i still at the time have not purchased a extra one uh but i'm definitely planning to if you can i would maybe check your local lego stores just because uh you can get kind of the sets you want uh if you're gonna spend money and you could probably get one of these promos if they have one still left in stock uh, i'm pretty crazy excited to see that it actually sold out like i said earlier in today's video uh, and hopefully see the price of this value pay for my entire order because i think that would be uh the most uh, soothing thing there could be right getting some free lego just for a promo uh just for buying i'd love a free bookshop but who knows if we'll get to that price point it probably will take time so be patient because there's still some more promos that are yet to come out so three more throughout the year I hope to see you guys in the next video. I had a lot of fun recording this one, and this is a super interesting topic to me. Uh, I love seeing crazy hype around sets. Uh, it's, it's just an exciting time. So as always, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to probably pick up a few copies of this House of the Worlds promo just because I think it's a pretty good one and uh, definitely see the value going up. So hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Let's see.